What's up everyone? I'm Torvaldurus and today is a great day for the Stormbringer pilots out there. The Stormbringer has received a couple of significant buffs today with the Havoc expansion. This ship has been an incredible abyssal runner, but it has always had one flaw, the overmine rooms. Now, typically two overmine rooms and one abyssal site with the Stormbringer would be a guaranteed kill, but with this update, I think that's changing. There are three updates to the Stormbringer today. The first one is Pyrolancia now affects the Vorton weapon system. This is the cheapest update that's going to increase the damage of your Stormbringer. Before Havoc, Pyrolancia did not affect the Stormbringer weapon, but now it does. So now you can bring any Pyrolancia dose to increase your damage by a certain percent. What I would personally recommend is always having a dose four on you. This will allow you to pop the dose four, give you 9% extra damage in case you run into an overmind. While sure, you can always have a Pyrolancia dose going just to increase your damage. Me personally, I'd rather just have a dose four for emergency cases. But this is the first update that's going to make your Stormbringer that much more effective. Now the second update that's going to increase the damage of your Stormbringer, but significantly increase the price, especially at first, there are now faction and officer Vorton tuning systems. Up until now, we've only had a Tech 2 Vorton tuning system, but there are now additional Vorton tuning systems to increase the damage of the Stormbringer. Be aware though, these things are brand new right now with the Havoc expansion, so they're not going to be realistic to use now, but eventually their price will come down because supply will increase. While I don't expect people to be running the Officer Vorton tuning system, the Faction one should be realistic to achieve for the average pilot and has a decent little bonus over the Tech 2 version. As you can see right here, the damage and the rate of fire is a little bit better than the Tech 2 version. And with this next update, you can make those numbers even higher. The third and final update to make the Stormbringer even more powerful is Mutaplasmids for Vorton tuning systems. That's right, with these new mutaplasmids, you can now mutate the Vorton tuning systems just like you can mutate any other damaged weapon system. Now this is another one that's not going to be significant at first. Obviously with supply and demand, these things are going to be very expensive. But once these things become more readily available, you can mutate your Vorton tuning systems to give you that much more damage. This one is a little bit more difficult than the other two updates, but it gives you a little bit more percentage if you get some good rolls on your Vorton tuning systems. Every single DPS point matters, especially against Overmind, and this is another tool to increase your DPS and give you a little bit more of a shot of not dying. Up until now, getting two Overminds in a single Abyssal instance with the Stormbringer has been almost a guaranteed death scenario. I'm not 100% on the numbers. I've got to see it for myself, but I want to say if you have good faction rolled Vorton tuning systems and you've got a dose four of a Pyrolancia, you could potentially get out of an Abyssal site even after running into two Overmines. As you can see here, my DPS with Electro Punch and three Tech 2 Vorton tuning systems is 297. Now, once I take those off and replace them with faction Vorton tuning systems, my DPS goes up to 315. And to add to that, I take this Pyrolancia Dose 3, which gives me a 7% damage increase and puts my DPS at 337. Now, one of the most important things to do, obviously, if you come up against an Overmind or any situation where you might be in trouble, overheat. So as you can see right here, my DPS goes up to 397 overheated. This ship started out at 297 DPS with Tech 2 Vorton tuning systems, no heat, and no Pyrolancia. And after all of that, it's up to 397 DPS. I imagine with some good mutated modules, you can get this thing up over 400 no problem. Obviously, that's going to be expensive, but you can do it. So there it is. The Stormbringer has gotten a massive buff with the Havoc expansion, and I think it may be able to handle two Overmines without any issues, but we'll see what happens. I definitely plan on getting my hands on all this stuff to get this thing upgraded and try it for myself. Once I get this thing upgraded, I will be streaming it live here on my YouTube channel, so if you're interested, definitely check it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And like I said, be on the lookout for my live stream where I'm taking this thing into T6 Abyssals and trying it live. Obviously, I got to wait till this stuff becomes available and it's not so expensive, but eventually I'll be able to get it and get into it. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video and I will see y'all next time.